Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, lately, it seems like I've been seeing a lot of videos on YouTube about improvised armor. Uh, there seems to be a great interest in figuring out if there are commonly available household materials that are actually capable of stopping a bullet. Uh, and I've seen a lot of testing on things like books and floor tiles and so forth, uh, but there's a lot of fairly uh, readily available materials I haven't seen tested, so I thought I would make a few contributions to this uh, collective research effort. And the first thing that I want to test here today is just some scraps of sheet metal. Uh, this is, I believe, 20 gauge uh, sheet steel. Uh, measures about 40 thousandths of an inch thick, or approximately one millimeter. Uh, this is uh, the kind of material you'd use for putting up steel buildings, you know, something like a carport. Uh, anyway, I've got about five of these scraps, uh, so we can stack a few of them together if need be, and we'll see what, if anything, they're capable of stopping. Uh, I think I'm going to start by shooting them with a nine millimeter handgun. Uh, I figure this is pretty representative of the lower half of the power spectrum of handgun cartridges. So if it doesn't stop a 9mm, it's probably not worth considering for any kind of body armor applications. If it does stop a 9mm, then we'll step it up to something bigger and see what else it'll stop. So to start with, I've just got one sheet of the sheet metal. Uh, I'm thinking this is going to go right through, but let's find out. Well, sure enough, there's a nice clean hole in our plate. Uh, bullet went right through a 20 gauge sheet of steel. Why don't we go ahead and stack up all five of these and see if a nine millimeter will go through that. Well, this is an interesting outcome. When we had just the one sheet, the 9mm bullet zipped right through it like it wasn't there. But when we stack five of them on top of each other, now the bullet didn't even penetrate the first plate. You know, it made a pretty good dent in it, and we got a little bit of a dimple in the back. Uh, so you can see that the dent uh, propagated all the way through. But the bullet didn't penetrate even one plate when that plate had enough backing behind it. Uh, so that's an interesting result. I'm not sure that that's quite what I was expecting. Um, we'll probably want to reduce the thickness of the stack and see where the threshold is uh, as far as what it takes to stop the 9mm. But while we've got them all stacked up like this, let's see what else this stack will stop. And for our next test, I'm going to use a 44 Magnum. Uh, contrary to what you may have heard in the movies, this is not technically the most powerful handgun in the world, but I think it is fairly representative of the upper half of the power spectrum of handgun cartridges. Uh, if armor will stop a 44 Magnum, it's probably safe to say that it will stop the vast majority of handgun rounds that might be encountered in the field. So let's see what this does to our five plate stack. Well, once again, we got a very interesting result. Uh, the stack of five sheets succeeded in stopping the bullet, but the bullet also succeeded in penetrating all five sheets. You can see it's sort of caught there in the last couple of sheets. 
Um, so, yeah, once again, I'm not sure that that's what I was expecting, uh, but that is definitely an interesting and informative result. I guess five sheets of 20 gauge steel is right about the equilibrium point for stopping 44 Magnum. Now, it's probably a foregone conclusion that rifle rounds are going to go right through this, but while I've got the stack of five sheets set up, why don't we go ahead and shoot it with a 223, and we'll go ahead and demonstrate that fact. Well, I actually shot it twice with the 223. Uh, I'd zeroed that scope for 50 yards, and at close range where I'm doing this testing, it's actually shooting several inches low. Uh, so my first shot was way down here on the edge, and then I compensated and shot it again up here to get a little bit cleaner, more representative hit. Uh, but in both cases, the bullet went clean through. Uh, no surprises there. So here's the first one, and then the second hit. Okay, so I took off the uh, two front sheets. What do you think? Is three sheets of 20-gauge uh, steel going to be enough to stop a 9mm? Let's find out. Nope. 9mm went clean through all three sheets. Well, if three's not enough, how about four? With four sheets, the nine millimeter penetrated the first sheet and dented the others, but they successfully stopped the bullet. So what can we conclude from this test? Well, when we stacked five sheets of 20 gauge sheet metal, which again is about a millimeter thick, on top of each other, uh, that stack was capable of stopping nine millimeter bullets pretty easily. Uh, it stopped a 44 Magnum, albeit just barely. Uh, and so I would say, based on this test, the minimum thickness of mild steel that you'd want to consider for any kind of armor applications would be about five millimeters. Uh, and understand that that should provide moderate protection against handgun rounds, no appreciable protection against rifle rounds. So I think that concludes uh, this first test in the vein of improvised armor. Uh, I've got more tests coming up, but until then, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.